um, so yeah, today I wanted to clear everyone's doubt on how to apply for IEEE paper, how to apply for a conference paper. So I got many people asking me, uh, bro, how do you apply for a conference paper? Um, how to go on the website and check for conference dates? Many of the conference dates are um, not matching with the IEEE website. Many, um, many of the conference I can't apply to. What are the field of interest that? Um, is right for the conference paper to apply to. So I'm just going to clarify on all these doubts today. It's very simple to apply for IEEE papers and con for conferences. So just go, just go to Google and just type in IEEE. So you'll get here called conferences. Just click on that. And page will load up. So here you can see um, the IEEE conferences player. You can search for. You can search for the entire i conference over here, search for all i conference, so you can search for specific uh, by title keywords, but this is much easier way, just search for all conferences. Showing that you'll get to a page like this. It's just loading. So yeah, so this is the page, and here you can see all the upcoming conferences in this current month, next month, all five, six months forward. So here you can, you can see uh, the conference is it's everywhere international South Africa Brazil France so for now I'm just going to you know, filter the location and search uh, India I mean you don't have you can search for any location I'm just showing you an example search for India so here you can see February 27 28th is a conference date so this it's going to happen here the place hybrid in person and virtual so those who can't attend the conference in person they can attend virtual that part comes after if your paper gets accepted they'll communicate via CMD or via email so these are the field of interest so I just take um, so fifth so many of your doubts or the conference it's are um, here if I open for suppose I'll open just this conference for example so here you can see call for paper deadline is 2nd November so many of you are asking for March 2025 conference 2nd November is the deadline and they can't apply for it but most of these cases i mean almost like 50 60 percent or 70 percent i mean almost 90 percent you can see you should always when you open up a conference page you don't check on the call for papers deadline instead go to the conference website every every conference you open just go to the conference website because they'll always always change the dates they'll extend the dates that won't always get updated over here so just See, so you can hear, see your call for paper deadline is 2nd November but if I go here you can see the conference page is open up you can see important date full paper look 2nd November uh, the date has been extended 13 November so this is just an example I'm just showing 13 November so if I just move forward since this conference on March 4th 5th it's already done I'll just show you another so April you can see it's uh, in person so if we go here as a perfect example 4 to 6th april this is a conference date it's in person and virtual the call for deadline is 10th october so people see this and they just go back and search for our conference and here the it'll never be mostly don't won't get a, um, you know, updated in here the either website so you should always go to the conference website in the con this is their website go to important dates every conference website will have a date section and here you can see it's 15th Feb so here it's 10th October but in the official website they're telling it's 15th Feb it was 15th Feb so that much they are extended you should always always go there and apply for papers so how to apply always go to the conference website and in the website they'll tell you how to apply for um, conference paper I'll show you that now I'll just go back and I'll show you how to apply for a paper it's very quick okay so you guys get the part of how to search for a conference I'll show you how to apply for a conference now um, again here in person virtual just go to the conference website and here you can see paper submission is now open okay most of the section they you'll see call for papers call for papers is what are the topic of interest for the paper for this particular conference in advanced and modern area age technologies what all tracks tracks is what all paper um, 
what are papers they are accepted right now for this particular conference so here advanced in healthcare advanced in computer science engineering electronics so it's all common tracks so whatever you have what support some detection project um, research paper all can come under this computer science and engineering so you can find so here they're telling send it to the email so just send an email it's that easy in pdf and document just send it to the email and they'll reply back other conferences will have a thing called some other conference will have a thing called microsoft conference management management tool so i'll just show you that part also very quickly there's this particular conference it shows a um, conference website i open here see it shows paper submission refresh paper submission it'll go to a page like this microsoft uh, this is called conference management tool um, i'll just log in and show you you have to create an account registration is easy when you press register they'll ask you email password you can give your personal email or your college email anything first name initial organization name give your college name this is normal optional you don't have to give that do that register that's it so i'll just log in with my account and show you whenever you are paper submitting just click on this particular link of whichever conference you want you can see the uh, that particular conference here after that. so i have logged in here logging here um if the conference is accepting papers still you can see a thing called author console this is your name and this is the particular conference if it's still accepting you can see a thing called create new submission you should click on that give your title abstract whatever in the particular conference whatever paper you're submitting this is my email, college email id you can see here you can add authors here you can add the author email id first name last name additional authors you have how much authors you are going to add and you can select the subject areas like we told tracks you see which track your paper comes in you have to select um, some other con some con other conferences will have primary track secondary track you can just select the main track whichever it comes in upload your paper and just agree all those and then submit and after submitting you get the updates through the CMD portal itself and those updates you'll get as notification in your email ID whichever you are registered your CMD portal in that's easy as that and for the email submission of paper you get the update through that particular email they'll send you emails oh your paper is next but they register through this link registration you have to pay this amount of money which is listed in the website so yeah this, this is easy to apply for conference papers thank you hopefully this clears all your doubts.